Welcome to a special video where I am going to be looking at Traveler's Rest. This is a game I actually used to play quite a bit, but I ended up kind of falling off because it didn't feel like I had, there was like very good progression in the game. So it's actually been a long time since I uh, played it. And then I was watching YouTube and I got a video recommended and the game looked so different, I almost didn't recognize it as the same. Like the art changed, there's so many different things about it, so I'm really excited to look at how uh, this has evolved since I played last. For one, you can now make your character, uh, which you could not do before, and the art looks uh, totally different. Much better now, I think. Alright, I think this is who we're going to go with. Our tavern is going to be named Mosey's Main, which is a reference to my D&D &D games. <laughs> Would you like to activate this tutorial? Uh, accept. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. This game is currently in early access, which means it is still being developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review to support this indie product project. Thank you. So we've got movement, shift to run, B to enter build mode. Okay. While decor in decorating mode, you can place items. To select an object, move the cursor over it and left mouse button or E. Try selecting the table. Okay. To move it, move it with mouse and then press E to place it. Okay. Customers need a place to sit. Place the benches so they face the table. Got it. Rotate with R. Q to add to inventory. Okay. So, where do we want this? Maybe we'll have it by the fire for now. Okay, so I assume... Okay, it'll automatically snap to a table. Got it? Perfect. Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing the candle on the table. Candles are consumed over the course of days, so you'll need to replace them in the future. Nice. Let's get the... Ooh, style. T. Oh yeah. Uh, let's put that there-ish. Uh, exit decoration mode. Get closer to the book at the bar and press E to open your stock. Okay. I don't usually go for like dresses and skirts and stuff in games, but I love the little like apron because I know you'd need that uh, in this kind of profession. E? No. Oh, I'm in decoration mode. All right, let's put that down. Actually, let's pick that guy up and save it. Uh, place the new objects to do it. Enter decoration mode. Hit B. Uh, select the item in your action bar using the mouse wheel. And then F to pick it up and E to place it. Ah. Okay. So this? No. B. Okay. Got it. Open. Storing food here will add it to your bar stock. When your bar isn't stocked, you'll serve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. Okay. At least there's something. Trends. Ah. Press O to open your tavern and to serve some gruel. Remember to exit decoration mode. Alright. Open up. You have a quest. Hit H to review it. If we serve six customers, we will get some tables and such. Perfect. What are these? Tech. Inventory. Oh, information on our tavern. Reputation. Our recipe book. We could have porridge if we had some water. Cool. Okay, so here you can see we're open. Oh, hello. A customer has requested an item. Move close to the customer and press E to serve them. Remember that, that decoration mode must be deactivated in order to do any actions. Okay. Here's your gruel. Look your outfit, because it looks almost like mine. <laughs> Got a lot of people. I think we're at capacity here. We did it! Close up the tavern so that you can place the new items. Last call by pressing O. This will prevent new customers from entering your tavern, but it doesn't immediately kick people out. Last call! Pressing O again will force the tavern to close, but you will lose reputation. Instead, wait for your customers to leave. We're not in a rush. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a traveler. Is that because this is what your meal is? 
Can I go into build mode while they're here? Oh yeah. Alright, so let's grab it. Art. Large ta items such as tables and benches cannot be moved and placed while it's open. Ah, okay. So, reputation, I believe that's what that's gonna be. I hope it's uh, going well for you guys. Uh, set up the table using your new items. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So it's now closed, so now we should be able to use this. Build. F. Oh, that's bigger than I anticipated. The There used to be something like this in the previous version, but it was a bit smaller. When I played last, which was probably, like, years ago. <laughs> Let's get that one there, and that one there. Open your tavern and serve new customers. Complete the new more quests to unlock upgrades. Uh, I feel like this is a bit close to the door. Let's scoot you one more. Here we go. Perfect. Let's get some more rules. Sir, oh, I want candles. Let's leave build mode. So we've got a brute mop for cleaning. Hello. So tidy. Thank you. No one's made a mess yet. <laughs> Oh, one of your customers has dirtied the floor. Press V to highlight the dirt. I see it. Tavern Vision will highlight important objects like dirty tables, floor dirt, and important customers. Clean the floor by selecting the mop and then pressing F close to the stain. All right, let's get these guys served up and then let's go ahead and clean. Oh, such nice animations. Everything looks so good now. A table has become dirty. Press E next to the table to clean it. Here you go. Oh, we've got some porridge and some grog. You can now serve por porridge and grog. Press E near the book to add the porridge to your stock. All right, let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, all of it, please. There we go. Uh, press Q, Q near the beer tap and add the keg of grog to the slot. Okay. Q. We'll add this guy. Alright, now we need some cleaning to do. Oh, got a hold. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, we've got the table nice and clean. The floor is nice and clean. I think this yellow border means we're in... Oh! I can, uh... Swap people with the broom. What button did this again? Um, B. Ah. What do you need now? Ah, some porridge. Yeah. Probably better than gruel. Just had to make a mess. Oh, more mess. Get off the floor to so clean. Well, thank you. What, what can we do you for? More porridge. You guys are hungry folk. A customer has requested a beer. Move next to the beer tab and press and hold E to pull a beer. Then get close to the customer and serve them. Okay. Let me finish mopping this up. All right. Two grogs coming up. Uh, grog. Here you go. Uh, five bowls of pork. Ooh, we got a rug. <laughs> I didn't get this cleaned up. F Dude, don't just leave your chicken bits around. I heard the owner of this place is a cultist. Not last I heard. I wasn't aware of my being part of a cult, but you know. Can we place this? Nice and warm. Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and leave build mode. Forage for the la both of you. So can I s I'll have to see if beer can be up at the top too. I didn't realize that before. More forage. Fill your life with friends and your mug with beer. Right, let's get this cleaned up. Oh, I'm gonna be on the mop. Oh yeah, 
It will show uh, beers and stuff. Nice, okay. That's helpful so that you know ahead of time how many beers to grab at once. There you go. Oh, another grog. Coming right up. Oh, we got an axe. Uh, you've obtained a copper axe. Close your cavern and go outside to chop trees in order to advance your quests and gain new technologies. Sure. Uh, last call. One feels like a noble here. There's not much to it, but I appreciate the compliment. What do we got back here? Okay, this looks different. So here's our room. Sleep to save the game. If you stay out too late, you will pass out. We've also got a chest. Don't really want to leave this floor until we're... Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. Just don't want to be roaming too far from uh, the first floor if there are guests still in here, you know? So what's this? The cellar. Uh, it's locked at the moment. Progress with the main line to get that. Good, good. What is upstairs? Okay. Uh, the start of a hallway. Alright, let's go cut down- oh my god. Did not notice all this mess here. It's probably why the, um, tavern vision will be helpful. Alright, so it's two in the afternoon. Wow, okay. Can you cut down some trees? We've got forestry waste, wood, and a sprout. Yay! So we got a saw table and a scythe, it looks like. You've obtained your first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear weeds. Remember that you don't you won't be able to use it in decoration mode. Yep. After building the salmo mill, exit to decoration and get close and press E to open the crafting menu. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Ooh, sorry. There's like a nice area that's just dirt up here. So I think that might be what I'm going to where I'm gonna put it. It's a bit far from the house, but that's alright. Okay. So there's a huge area here. I think I'll have to take down the grass in these trees. Okay. Then we're gonna need to sickle some stuff. Get some more space. Okay. Build mode F. Perfect. Yep. Oh! It clears out of space. Okay, good to know, good to know. <laughs> Each crafter has a list of recipes. Those show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click recipe name to begin crafting. So I think it wanted us to do 20 of those. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move close to collect. So 5... 10, 20, uh, 15, 20. Okay. So we've got 20 on the way. Mailbox. Oh, here you can order items for your tavern. So, uh, simply select an item to add it to your basket or shift click to add five. After ordering, the item will appear in the delivery box outside your tavern in three hours. Okay. Got decoration. Bar drying. Ah. So decoration. And it adds comfort. Windows add a lot of cuff comfort, but they're expensive. Five gold. Oh, that actually adds quite a bit. For quite a bit less. So that adds 15. This guy adds 10. Wow. They have so much stuff. Dang. Okay. So here you can see it's uh, different types of um, brewing food. Every five days, five random ingredients will be available to order, marked with a star. Some ingredients can be farmed after unlocking them in the the farming tree. Ah. Seeds, crafting stuff, furniture, decor, and miscellaneous. Ooh. Oh. All right. Uh, hire staff. Neat. I don't think you could do that before. Orders. Unlock it for. In the calendar. This is a calendar where important events are noted. Select any day marked with a red dot to view the events. No red dots. We've collected five. Fifteen. So we're actually almost done. Ta-da! We got a pickaxe. 
You've obtained a copper pickaxe. You can use the pick to mine seams and get metals and minerals. Uh, mine four seams with the pick. Okay. I did it! Uh, mine four metal seams and we got some stuff. You've obtained the smelter and the anvil. When you build the smelter, a new work area dedicated to metals will be created. This area cannot overlap with other working areas. Some objects can only be placed in certain work areas. The anvil can only be placed in the metal working area. Makes sense. Let's get this placed. I wonder where this goes. Interesting. I don't know that you could leave the map when I last played. Maybe. It's gonna look like a mining spot, so I think I'm gonna put the mine by this path. Okay. Anvil. Let's put that right there. I bet this goes over here. I wonder if you can move these. Let's try moving it one over. Oh, it does kind of mess up the ground though. Okay. Craft 10 nails. Okay, so we need fuel. Uh, click the firewood on the left side of the crafting menu. This will remove the one firewood from your inventory and add five fuel to the crafter. Okay. And we need 10 iron nails. One bar makes five, so we need two here. Not entirely sure why the anvil needs fuel, but <laughs> fine. We've done it. Okay. We got something. Craft a small table using the workbench. Oops. Build mode F. I wonder if this has to be here. I'll set it up in this corner. What did it want me to get? Small table. Small bench. Individual table. Small table. Um... Nails? I don't know what that little stick thing is. I think we may have to go to bed soon though. That's the thing we make here. No, that's for firewood. Yes, here. Uh, let's go ahead and get two going. And then head to bed. Like that. Maybe we could make a big window. Expensive to make though. <laughs> oh, we need more planks. Okay. This is stuff used for opening technologies and you get it from like different tasks give you different kind of um, experience. Alright, we need a little more fuel I think. For reasons unknown. Make ten. This table's taking a while to craft. Man, it's still crafted. Collecting stuff while I wait. <laughs> Aha! Uh, craft a small table done, and we got some paper coasters. You've now unlocked your crafter. When you're ready, close up and head to the north side of the tavern. To unlock the craft room, we need 40 silver. I don't think we have that. Yeah. Alright, so we need to run this guy for a bit, I think. Let's go ahead and put these napkins out. Keeps tables clean. Put one there. Ah. Well, we got one, I guess. So we've got food for you, for you. Some grog coming up. So you need grog? Yep. How about you? Nope. Okay. Here you guys go. Jeez. That happened fast. All right, let's give you guys some porridge. I have seen something when the video I was watching that said people who have dirtier clothes are more prone to making your um, your tavern dirty. So they're more likely to get your tables dirty and stuff. Okay, I think we have enough, so let's go ahead and last call it. Ooh, we've reached a new reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. Tech trees. You'll learn new recipes. Each tech 
Cost skill points, which are earned from crafting. Skills are split between physical, nature, and mental. So that's the differences here. You can see they take different types to unlock certain things. Magic. Social. Okay. Anything that needs cleaned? Yep. We're poor, but we've done it. Unlock the crafting room. Barley and some water. This is your crafting room. Let's make some forage. Open. I think we need some fuel in here. Back to the oven. Porridge. Some recipes can be modified. This will allow extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. Porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from your inventory into one of the slots. Let's create barley porridge. Except. Wait for your porridge to cook. It will only take a few seconds. Alright, let's go ahead and collect. We've got the melting machine. Now let's make some beer. Put Place the melting machine from your inventory and craft melted barley. I think I might actually end it here. Um, so this is uh, looking amazing, especially compared to where it was when I last played. Um, let me know if you guys want a full series of this. If we do, it would have to replace uh, a different series. I think the two lowest view series is Kin Seed and Sandrock. I'd have to double check, but it, um, one of those would have to be replaced to have this guy in its stead. So let me know what you guys are thinking. Otherwise, this has been a nice look into how much this has evolved. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.